There are a lot of third-party plugins out there that can speed up your workflow, make the tedious work in After Effects a lot easier, and give you a more fun experience. This plugin can expand After Effects functionalities and open up a whole new dimension for motion designers. It allows you to enhance your workflow, saves you a lot of time, and doesn't require any knowledge of coding, scripts, or expressions. So here are some third-party plugins that may help you do that. For example, Video Copilot have high-quality After Effects video tutorials for motion designers and visual effects artists presented by Andrew Kramer, the sensei of the After Effects community. It provides a variety of plugins that you may need in your workflow. They are available for PC and Mac users. For example, we can mention Effects Console, which is one of the most popular ones. It is completely free to download and use, which is great. This plugin makes your workflow easier and faster. It lets you search for effects and apply them faster, instead of doing them the old way, by going to the effects panel, searching for the effects and applying them. Now, with just a keyboard shortcut, you could do all that. You could assign numbers for your favorite effects, so there is no need for you to type their names ever again. Besides that, the effects console can take screenshots with the same resolution as your compositions. These images can be saved to the clipboard and copied into other applications and even more. It lets you open the panel to see the latest images you took, and you can do that to browse them and select the ones you want to use, which is considered pretty amazing. Next up, we have Element 3D, which is a fast OpenGL 3D object-based particle rendering engine for After Effects. It allows you to create 3D models inside After Effects faster than any other program. Element 3D lets you create, import, and work with 3D objects inside After Effects. You can create 3D text that you need on your normal motion graphic projects. The thing that you may notice is that it isn't heavy, especially if you have a weaker machine. It has a lot of features, and it is widely used for VFX and compositing projects. We can also talk about Battle Axe plugins, which are amazing tools for design and animation projects, created for After Effects workflows, of course. They have the most used plugins by the community, and their tools can solve a lot of problems that we face in our daily activities. For example, they have a plugin that is called Overlord. If you ever worked on your art or illustration before, and you want to take it to After Effects to animate it, you know how much work it takes. Preparing your artwork and separating every layer, naming them one by one, and then at the end, if you wanted to change anything, you have to open Illustrator again, and worse yet, if you need to create a new thing. Didn't you ask yourself, is it there a connector between them to make the workflow even better? With Overlord, it is possible to move layers back and forth with flexibility. It allows you to transfer Illustrator shapes directly into After Effects without importing any AI file. It creates that magical link that we always dreamed about, and you should probably consider this one if this is one of the most important things you do in your daily activities. We also have Time Lord which is like Overlord, but for Adobe After Effects and Photoshop. It is a link between frame-by-frame -frame animation software and After Effects. Time Lord is designed for simply frame-based animation in Photoshop and Animate, and majorly improve the export and rendering pipeline between these apps. If you are an animator, and you do a lot of 2D animations, and you create frame-by-frame -frame cartoony styles, this plugin is probably for you. Next up, we have a plugin called Anubis. We all know how much it takes for you to render a video from Adobe apps and how linking in Media Encoder makes the process slower without forgetting all the stuff you need to worry about before even clicking the render button, and you may be shocked by its size. After all that, try to reduce the bit rates to make it smaller, but Anubis will make that all go away. It lets you export and compress quick MP4s from all the Adobe apps with zero concern about bit rates. You don't have to launch Media Encoder ever again or wait for it all the time to start, because it minimizes all those just with few buttons. You can set them once and forget all about them. If you want to say goodbye to all the clicking through the shape layer properties just to change one path cap, butt cap or change all the strokes, caps, and joins at once all your selected shape layers, it is actually a time saver, because you no longer need drop down menus to set the end cap of one shape. We can also talk about MT MauGraph plugins that are used by animators and companies all over the world. They are great to help improve their workflow and make it done faster. For example, we can talk about Motion, 
which is one of the most used plugins by motion designers in Adobe After Effects. It is a collection of extensions in one plugin, a master controller that has everything you need to make your animation up and running. It is getting better and better with every update. It lets you easily control speed changes and apply animation presets, move to your anchor point, create a null object for one or multiple layers at once, and a lot more. Next we have Boombox, which is one of the most complete sound design toolkit and audio libraries for Adobe Premiere and After Effects. It contains a lot of royalty-free audio and sound effects prepared for motion design with easy put in and out control. It has a lot of categories to choose from and a search bar to get what you want faster using keywords and tags. Next we have Wonder, which is an ultimate media search and assets collection extension for motion designers using After Effects of course and Premiere. It has an endless collection of logos, emojis and gifs that you can use in your projects and with high quality so there is no need to leave the program. You can search for anything you want and you will find it, most likely of course. And you can do this from over a million results of downloadable assets. If you are interested in one of these plugins, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos similar to this one. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.